hello there, and welcome, or welcome back, to a new episode of Survival with Peeporp. Uh, I'm Peeporp. In the last episode, we did roofs and stuff, um, but there is there has been a problem uh, lately while I've been building this, is that the the actual iron farm that we built it for doesn't isn't actually working. So I really need to figure out why, and <laughs> then fix it. Uh, I looked at a thread online, and apparently I need workstations for each of the villagers, because that's what they also need other than sleep. Um, and I forgot my scaffolding. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back, get my scaffolding, and then return, I guess. <laughs> oh no. Alright, I got me scaffold in. Um, and now for the workstations, I had some stone cutters laying around, so I was just thinking I'm probably just going to use those. Let's go up here. Okay, so if I remove this block, maybe, yes, and then put a stone cutter on it, and then that person will have a stone cutter job now, and I, all i got to do is do that for all the other ones. Bliggy is chilling. Aren't you, mate? Yep. Bliggy is chilling. <laughs> He's not doing anything. The village It's always the villagers' fault. Always the villagers. Got something going on with them that you need to fix. Do you think maybe I should add another spawning area above this? Maybe? I don't know. I feel like that would be a, a much too much hassle. And it's just not spawning at all. So, I'm going to need to do some more uh, thinking. Okay, so the next thing I have to try is to replace their beds. And I've, I've, got, a few, I've got a few beds because it's night time and they're not sleeping. They're preoccupied. So, uh... I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get some some beds. They don't get nice beds. They just get white beds, because normal default beds. Do you remember the default bed used to be red though? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Peaport remembers. There we go. See, that was simple. Give me my bed back, peasant. Thank you. Okay, bed replaced. Now just to do it on the other sides. Okay, now jump. Jump up and down. <laughs> Thank you. Jump. Please, let me put a bed under you. Do this one as well. Do that jumpy thing again. Do that jumpy thing again. N neither of them are jumping. This is not good. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't even... I, you don't even need to... Wait for them to jump, I guess. No. Not there. There we go. <laughs> okay, so apparently all I gotta do is just let it... Go to the next night time. And just l let them sleep. And stuff. Because... Maybe they're sleep deprived. I don't know how villagers work. They're they're just they're just there. Villagers will always be a mystery to me. Lots of things in this game will be a mystery to me. <laughs> like why do slimes occasionally spawn and then you find the chunk and then they don't spawn anymore? Why do villagers? That's the question. Just why do villagers? I feel like any Minecraft player would ask that question. Why do villagers? 
Any slimes? Oh yeah, also, um, I covered in the hole, uh, on, on a stream, because I was, I was preparing for this episode, and I was like, I just want the hole to be covered, because it looks ugly, and I don't want a giant shaft all the way down from, from the ground all the way down to my mind so what I did is I just simply covered it back up again and once I put bone meal down you would have never guessed that this place was a, had a giant hole so points for peeporp for fixing the things but there's still all this stuff that I need to take but you know that's effort and I do not have much effort to move around around stone and stuff. <clears throat> However, what I am in the mood for is detailing the castle. It is finally time to go and detail that stuff. So I need to add this. I'm going to make some... Red nether brick. Should I make some walls or should I make some stairs or some slabs? Um, I'll make some stairs out of this. There we go. Beautiful. So, I've got lots of detailing stuff. So, I'm going to take it over to the castle. And hopefully, while we're working, uh, the iron farm will start working again. Because I do need some iron do need me a, a good source of iron. Otherwise, this whole castle would have been built for no reason. <laughs> because this is the iron farm castle. So, you know, it would be kind of pointless just to have it here. So, ooh, let's put these shulker boxes down like that in preparation. Bed. Awesome. So, now prepped. We could start getting on with it. And, uh... I'm going to do it in a time-lapse, because I didn't do a time-lapse in the last video. Well, in the last Fozzycraft video, and I got a dislike on the video. So I'm assuming people come to me for time-lapses. And also, I want to capture the, the, the time-lapse footage, and I want to make it... Okay, so it's the sun is going down. I'm going to chill in here, because I know it's... I, I was about to say, because I know it's mob-proof, but... <laughs> this, little, this little man proved me wrong. So, light it up. Light it up like this. And then just wait. They are not sleeping. They are working. Right. Hopefully, I'm going to uh, just do a quick AFK session. Hopefully, some will spawn. Uh, but we'll see. But I'll be back afterwards, possibly for a time lapse. <laughs> okay, so I, I might have an idea of how to... Get the zombie, the, the villagers to calm down and just chill out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to cover up the zombie for them. Let them sleep for the night. And then um, hopefully once the, uh, that will make it work. So I'm going to put a piece of glass front of all of them there we go they get to sleep they get to sleep which is great but while I do wait for day and um, before uh, I go back to uh, the farm I do want to edit it a little bit uh, I looked at how to improve it because sometimes the iron golems were getting stuck on the ledge so uh, apparently some stairs will work nicely, so I'll just grab some of these. Alright. We up in this this bitch. So No 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 <sighs> Cool thanks. Need to get another lava bucket. Oh no I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt myself. She should be fine if I just, yeah, you know, just just kind of sneak out. Okay. Just need to reintroduce the lava. 
I already had a lava bucket on me. It's like I knew it, I was going to fail <laughs> or mess up. And that was getting daytime, so it should be uh, okay for me to um, let the, the villagers see the zombie again. Okay, so the lava bucket goes there. What is, no, it doesn't. It doesn't go there. It goes somewhere I can't reach. There! Hooray! And then, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this one, and this one, and this one. So now they'll be able to see each other and start panicking. And if this doesn't work, oh, see, there we go. I fixed it. My idea actually worked. I'm very surprised at that. <laughs> but no, that makes sense. It makes sense because they, they get too scared and then you have to like uh, let them rest. I don't know. It makes sense in my head a little bit. But now the iron farm is working as intended and hopefully not spawning iron golems on my roof because I need to put some details on that but let's just watch and see see it there we go and now they're not getting caught on the thing they're going straight yes look at that you can try and escape as much as you want tiny little golem but you will be taken to the lava and the lava shall consume everything. But no, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm glad it's working now. I can stop stressing and we can start getting iron, which is sick. So sick. I'm ready for iron. Well, more of it anyway. But now that that's fixed, we can start looking at this. At, and look at the details and stuff. Which is going to be a very long task, but we've come this far <laughs> with the design. We've come this far, so I think we just got to grit our teeth and get through it. Because as I always say, details take details take a long, long time and a lot of effort. But at the end, it's going to look absolutely lovely. It's going to look amazing. I'm so excited. It's just getting there. <laughs> I don't have creative. I don't have flying. I have scaffolds and, and glass. Oh, no. So, I'm going to go and do a time lapse once this rain has stopped. And I shall detail everything. And iron golems are going to spawn at the same time now. While I'm working on it. So I'll get some iron out of it too. Everything's fixed and lovely. Ah, no iron golems spawning up here either. Which is great. Good news. There's no string on here. So yeah. I think we should just go straight into the time lapse. Woohoo.
Well, that was a nice relaxing time lapse, wasn't it? I'm fixing uh, something that I missed. I, I missed the the stairs on the bottom of the of like the support for this tower. I just need to do that, and then we can have a uh, a circle round and see everything. Oh, wow, not finished, but it's definitely getting there. It is definitely getting there. Let's put this over here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get all the way down. I'm still missing two scaffolds somewhere. But, it's, it's looking so nice. You see what I mean? I see what I mean by the boxes are going to look better. Oh, I, I, I added this bridge, which wasn't in the original design, but I wanted to add a, a like a roof here. Uh, originally, it was just the bridge um, with that across, but I think turn it in into this kind of thing with the roof and stuff is beautiful. And the iron farm, I'm not sure if it's been working. <laughs> I guess, I guess let's go up and see if it has been. I don't think we got that much more. I think it's, it's still a bit iffy. I'm still not sure. But it's okay because the cast. I need to put a, a thingy. I'm going to just make a little walkway. There we go. Because this place is looking amazing. It looks so good. And I haven't even put the... Final touches on it yet. I was just getting the arn ornaments done. We also made the door, which is cool, so we can get in and out. And now here's the courtyard, which um, which is going to be filled up with stuff. And we're going to plan what we're doing inside the courtyard in the next episode. However, for now, this is going to be the end of the episode. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, leave them comments down in the comments. Tell me what you think of the castle. Tell me what you want. What kind of what rooms do you want to see in the castle for when I do the interiors eventually? Uh, I want you to what kind of rooms you want because I do want to have the the kind of standard castle things. Maybe even a dungeon as well. That would be pretty neat. But it's all looking so much better, so much nicer. I'm gonna just have a a look. Ah, oh, it's so nice. It's so so nice. I was gonna put uh like do the same amount of detail on the on the bottom here for the foundation, but I'm not quite sure yet. I think I just want to keep it like this, honestly. Maybe just with a few uh pillars going up just for support because I don't think it really needs them because it's all the details on the top and on the bottom is just where it's all worn down and stuff. I don't know. Leave those in the comments, see <laughs> what you think. But yes, this has been Survival with Peeporp, and I am Peeporp, and I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye.